And you can go down the list of the cabinet, Tulsi. Uh, I think we're a little tired of the diversity stuff. Yeah, you know, Jesse, what, what we're seeing here is their philosophy, identity, politics. And this is one of the main reasons why I left the Democratic Party, because you're seeing how their agenda of identity politics is directly undermining the traditional democratic values that were expressed so beautifully and clearly by Dr. Martin Luther King, that we should judge each other not based on the color of our skin, but based on our character. And yet, as you have displayed here over and over with example after example, they're proud to be judging people, hiring people, selecting people based on race, which is really, let's be clear how serious of a problem this is. It's based on genetics, race, uh, based on your blood, your genes. And, and where do we see that connection? Well, these are the very same geneticist core principles embodied by Nazism and Adolf Hitler. And this should be something that is sickening and alarming to every single Democrat, and every single American. We have seen where this uh, philosophy can lead. Why don't you tell us where this can go, Tulsi? I know what you wanna say, but I just wanna hear you say it. Tell us exactly where this can go. <laughs> She's such a clown. Yeah. So Tulsi Gabbard, who is now a full-time Fox News contributor, says that diversity hires are tantamount to Nazism. But for someone who is supposedly so concerned about Nazism, I'm still waiting for her to address the GOP's book bans or their attempts to legislate trans people out of existence or their effort to purge LGBTQ teachers out of education. But I mean, I won't hold my breath. Now, believe it or not, what she said there was so stupid that even Jesse Waters had to ask for clarification, presumably in hopes that she would say something less stupid, but she just decided to double down. You're saying the, the focus on genetics uh, is is in a way similar to what was going on in Germany. You, you look at the core uh, values and core principles of Adolf Hitler and Nazism. What is it based on? It's based on genetics. This is, this is that philosophy of geneticism and discriminating against people based on their genes. And that's the issue here, really when you cut to the core of it, when they're standing there saying, hey, we are proud to be selecting people solely based on race, uh, that, that is alarming to me on so many levels. You see them, oh, we were gonna select someone based on their race, based on their gender, these immutable characteristics that we're born with. Uh, this goes against, again, the very vision our founders had for us. It goes against traditional democratic values. And most of all, the American people deserve to know that those in positions of power and leadership are putting their interests first, regardless of race or gender or religion or politics or anything else. That's the responsibility of our leaders. And that's what we, the American people, deserve. Yeah, I'm not sure about the German thing, but I think you're right on this point. They care about what the administration looks like, but they don't care about what we look like. That was incredible. You know, I'm not too sure about the German thing, but I do agree that diversity is bad. <laughs> when even Jesse Waters thinks that you've gone too far in your hyperbole and demonization of your political opponents, you've gone way too far. Now, she also said something else that stood out to me. She said, uh, this goes against the very vision our founders had for us. Tulsi, did you hear the words that just came out of your mouth? Yes, because the founders were very careful to construct a colorblind society, and it was just coincidental that all of their slaves happened to be black. I just, I can't. The stupidity is overwhelming. Now, this isn't the first time, believe it or not, that Tulsi Gabbard has compared Biden to Hitler. As the Daily Beast reported back in October, she claimed that Biden and Hitler both shared a similar, quote, mindset of good intentions to justify authoritarian behavior. And she said this while stumping for a Republican warmonger, Don Bolduc. So her suggesting that Biden is akin to Hitler is really nothing new. But I do find it odd that she endorsed this supposedly Hitlerian figure for president not that long ago. Although I may not agree with the vice president on every issue, I know that he has a good heart and he's motivated by his love for our country and the American people. I'm confident that he will lead our country guided by the spirit of aloha, respect and compassion, and thus help heal the divisiveness that has been tearing our country apart. 
never mind, he's just like Hitler. I mean, imagine comparing somebody that you endorsed to Hitler all because of diversity hires that you knew he'd make before you endorsed him. And to be clear, their entire argument here is premised on this idea that the Biden administration is prioritizing diversity over qualifications and hiring, but there's no evidence for that. They just don't like the people who Biden hired. Therefore, they're saying, see, this is evidence as to why diversity is bad. They are clowns. See, black and brown people and LGBTQ plus people have been historically excluded from positions of power due to institutional discrimination, both explicit and implicit. And taking into account someone's identity as well as their qualifications is a good thing. And also making race based decisions in hiring is nothing new. For most of this country's history, employers did make decisions on the basis of race. It's just that they'd exclude people who weren't white and straight. But now, in an effort to right that wrong, many employers are opting for inclusion as opposed to exclusion. And hiring historically disenfranchised groups isn't viewed as the cultural taboo as it once was because society is changing. And this is the very opposite of Nazism. But Tulsi's point is to push this idea that inclusion of everyone else means exclusion of whites specifically. But no, equal representation means just that. Representation is equal. But equality looks like oppression to people who are bigoted. And Tulsi Gabbard doesn't want to admit that she actually likes exclusion, excluding the others. She's been openly bigoted against trans people and LGBTQ plus people, more broadly speaking. So she would rather the Biden administration discriminate than make hiring choices based on somebody's qualifications and, yes, their identity. But as Tulsi Gabbard transitions into a full time propagandist for Fox News, she's going to have to be a little bit better and more clever in her criticisms of Biden because Godwin's law makes for terrible propaganda, especially when your side is increasingly fascistic. But either way, whenever Tulsi Gabbard says something so stupid that even a Fox News host has to do a double take, I'm here for it because sometimes grifting can go wrong. Sometimes it can blow up in your face when it comes to right wing grifters that go from left to right. You know, sometimes you make a fool of yourself trying to overcompensate for your past as a liberal and a progressive. But either way, what she said there is just on its face, idiotic. And she's not making Biden look worse. She's just making herself look like an imbecile. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Wolf, moralists, wolf, moralists, wolf, moralists. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.